hello so now we have installed uh, drupal we have set up the site name punchline etc you have seen few things so what we would like to do today is we would like to create some more pages so that our setup looks like a basic website that means when we talk about a basic website if you go to any website you will see that there are certain pages generally describing about it so uh, let's take an example of Drupal's website itself Drupal's website over here so if you go to Drupal's website you will see that there are certain links over here of course this is a big website so they have a lot of different pages your website will also grow over a time as per your requirement another example is not in so here you can see this is another website which is basically relating to the blender software and we have some content showing up now this website is also developed with drupal itself but right now what we are interested in is that there is a link to home page there is a link to all projects which shows some contents then there is a link to categories where the content is shown category wise tags there is a about us page and there is a resources page there are some other links somewhere which says like terms of use some simple pages are there there are disclaimers and so on then there are few other pages over here so as your site grows up you might want to have pages like this right now what we are interested in is just creating a simple website where or convert our existing Drupal installation so that it looks like having four or five pages standard pages that you see we have already created a home page let's see how we can add more pages and have the links over here now before we proceed let's try to understand that when we have Drupal you have this complete system where your content stored in the backend and it is displayed by the Drupal system itself now what happens is that the content is displayed via a theme you can think of a theme as a template or a structure which basically displays your content which is sent by Drupal and then it is displayed over here fine now based on the theme we have different locations where different things can be shown like this you can see is the header area where our site name is being shown there is a menu so in this particular theme uh, the all the main links are inside this menu uh, this is uh, mobile ready you can say then uh, there is this footer area which might be further divided into different sections now depending upon the theme so theme basically decides uh, what are the different uh, sections or areas in your design right now or that theme provides you so that where you can put different content or where you can tell Drupal to display the content fine so when we create a page the page will be stored we will provide a link for that page and what we want to do is we want that the link should show up in the main menu these are the main links that we want to have so for that we, when we create the page we will tell Drupal that this is the link to the page and show it in the main menu let us see uh, that before that I will just show you what I meant by the different sections we will be discussing about themes later on also but just to give you an overview right now we are using this particular theme and this theme uses a particular kind of structure fine so if we go to the structure and block layout and for this particular theme if i click on demonstrate block regions this yellow part which is showing up are the areas where we can actually push our content fine so uh, this is the header section this is the sidebar this is a uh, hero area this is highlighted breadcrumbs content where the main page uh, shows 
above that there is some area this is content this is a sidebar area then this is below the content there is a footer which you might have noticed powered by drupal is showing up and there is a footer bottom so we can push our content in different areas like this just keep this in mind right now we'll not be doing anything the only thing that we wanted to uh, see was that where our menu is coming menu is coming over here another issue right now is the menu by this theme is set to show as uh, the mobile type of menu right with this three lines and all uh, so that won't show our uh, links here so we'll also change that for the time being we'll go to appearance we'll go to this theme setting and this is specific to this theme and may not be required if you are using a different kind of thing so over here you can see enable mobile menu at all widths we are going to disable this and we'll save the changes now if you go to home you will notice that the link of home page is showing up and the other uh, two links for log logged in people are also showing up over here so our main home page link which we had created earlier is showing up now now we will add uh, two three pages like contact us about us and products and we will assign a link to that and that link should show up over here so let's see how we can do that we will go to content and over here we will add some new content so when we go and add some content there are two things showing up article and basic page so this is called as a content type that means uh, what we get from this is let's have a look at when i click on basic page you simply get a kind of form html form kind of thing is there this predefined over here where you can provide a title for your page as well as you can add content so this is a very simple uh, content type or we are trying to bundle group of things together like a title and its content later on we will be developing these content types for our requirement in fact drupal itself says that these are just for examples when you start working with drupal you are expected to create your own content type and then work with them but that we will see later on for the time being this is one of the content types where we can just have a simple title and body and if you go back and look at article this is another kind of content type which allows us to have a title obviously most of your content types that are there will usually have a title it allows you to associate an image with that it allows you to have the primary body description of that content or whatever is the main content associated with that and then you can have tags tags are uh, small keywords and other things which gives you an idea of the actual article or what are the common words that are being used over there so this is another content type that is there by default available into this now what we will do is the basic page content type is quite useful when you simply want to make pages in which the changes are not going to happen a lot so let's do one thing we will create few pages from this so we'll go to basic page let's add a title let's say about us we will create a about us page and over here we will add some content relating to about us page very interestingly by default here in drupal 10 this is a ycvig editor where you are allowed to have basic html or full html or restricted html where you can use this what you see is what you get editor and directly use bold italic underline and few other things so you really don't need to write html over here so what we are going to do is we need some content now whenever you are developing simple websites and other things for demonstration purpose or anything you don't need to search for content there is a very interesting uh, site called as the lorem ipsum what it does is it gives you some interesting text now this text does not make much sense but it is useful for filling up the content so when you go to this site uh, you have an option of generating word bytes paragraphs and so on so like say if i say i want seven paragraphs it will generate seven paragraphs for me and i could simply copy this so i will just take few paragraphs from this and we will paste it over here into our body part so now 
my content is there in actual you can type in your content okay so by default it is set to published you can preview it how it will look now what we are interested in is <coughs> the other options that are there here uh, you can have a revision and all this we will talk later on menu setting now where do you want this a link for this thing to appear okay so here we will say provide a menu link and we will put it in main navigation the one which we were discussing about is called as main navigation and this will be where it will show up and this is the about us this is the link text that will show up and description is usually when you hover over something uh, which is a link or something you it shows up some description fine so this description you can add over here the about us page and the weight weight over here defines where it will show up if it is more it will go down if the weight is less it will come upward so the weight decides whether the menu link is towards the bottom or upwards if it is left to right then it is lighter weights are on the left side and higher weights are on the right side so let's say i'll give it a weight of 25 so this is a heavier weight it will be towards the end next is url alias now whenever we create a content drupal stores it as a node now what exactly is a node node is a way of drupal's way of associating different things together you can say fine so here we have a title we have the body it will have the menu link title it will have so many things associated for a generic user the title and body is the only thing but with this content there are a lot of other things also as it's associated like when this page was created when this page was up updated who is the author right like right now i'll be the author i'm logged in when our site grows we are going to have a lot of other people who will be uh, if it's a collaborative website there will be a lot of other people who will be uh, creating content or managing content so those kind of information and other things are to be uh, stored so all these things collectively are associated with a number and that is called as a node number or node so drupal identifies lot of data or combination of pieces of data as nodes and a node basically says that these are the things associated with uh, this so again we'll be discussing that later on how it works but just an overview for you now so you can always access a page by saying your website name set node slash some node number whatever is the actual node number of that uh, particular content but that is not suitable so we would prefer to have a url alias now before that let's have a look at what exactly i mean by node i will save this i have already created the, the menu link title and we have decided in which menu it comes up so we will save this and you will notice that we have the about us page it is showing the about us about us page over here so you can see there is the menu link title and there is the about us page it is showing the contents fine but if you look at the url over here it says localhost slash node 7 so 7 is the node number that is given to this content and about us page and its content and the other things that i discussed so if you look at this this does not gives much of information about it and it is not a suitable way or preferred way of uh, pointing out to pages so if this url would have been localhost slash about us or some other path uh, like content slash about us or something like that it will make much more sense so what we are going to do is we'll go back edit this page again and over here this time what we are going to do is in the url alias we are going to add a url alias slash about you can keep it as about or about us fine so here there is a description also and now i'm going to save this now when i save this you will notice that our page is showing up 
but this time the url is different so the page is being accessed via this though the node 7 will still work because that's the main thing node slash 7 this is going to work this is internally how drupal will still use to fetch your data but <clears throat> for a generic user point of view this about us mechanism is much more suitable so in the same manner i am going to add few more pages now and they will show up over here okay so let's add few more pages <clears throat> we will go to content add content a basic page over here contact us now before i make the contact us, this is going to be a simple page where it says how you can contact us with the phone numbers etc other things you can show but uh, drupal has an inbuilt mechanism of providing a contact us form where people can fill and you can receive an email directly we will be discussing about that uh, utility or module mechanism later on just uh, to keep it in mind i am telling you that so here in the contact us also i will just uh, let us say paste some stuff over here we'll paste this and let's say we'll say phone plus nine one one two three four five six seven eight nine and email contact us at our website dot something like this you can fill up your contact us page and in the same manner we will uh, select the menu provide a menu link we'll put it in contact us the reach us over here you can put some message main navigation and this we can keep it as let us say 10 url alias again we will say slash contact or you can keep it contact us I'll just leave it as contact we'll save this similarly let's create a page for products <coughs> so content will go again add content and a basic page or you can say product and services products and services and here again let us say what we are going to do is uh, let's say we will generate a list over here of 10 items okay so here it has generated a list it's generated 10 lists so I'll just copy some over here and so full HTML allows me to use a lot of other HTML tags these are called as text formats We'll be discussing about this again in the upcoming sessions. For the time being, I'll just <coughs> paste it over here. So I have a few set of lists over here. Okay, so let's say services, services, let's make it bold and here let's say this is <coughs> product range we'll make it bold okay so this is another page that we have added again over here we will say provide a menu link product and services list of our product and services so the main navigation weight we will keep it as let's say five and url alias i'll just keep it as products p r o d u c t s products right slash products and we will save this so now if you look at your page okay over here we have home product and services contact us and about us now if uh, we just take a new private window over here and say localhost now this is how someone will actually 
see our website when they visit the website because once when you are logged in you get all the different menu items and other things showing up this is how the website will look to the person so this is the home page products and services contact us and about us and one thing if you remember you might have noticed there was very interesting keyword use called as breadcrumbs so this is the breadcrumbs fine so if we have certain pages below this and so on uh, in a hierarchical manner then the breadcrumbs show that you are in home within that and so on so this is how basically you can create some simple pages for your website try this out and we will continue our discussion further in upcoming sessions